Hey guys, it's Art Week here on Thingamavlogs, and because I'm not really an artist in any other way except for my makeup, I'm gonna do my makeup for you. Disney style. Since Rapunzel is arguably one of the most artistic princesses, I'm gonna do a Rapunzel makeover. Here we go. I'm gonna start by tightlining my upper lash line, and I'm using Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner Crayon in black. Run this along your lash line, and then smudge it. Next, I'm using my Urban Decay Primer Potion, which makes my eyeshadow last all day. Only use a little bit of this, you don't need very much. Next, I'm gonna take this golden color called Sidecar from the Naked One Urban Decay palette, and I'm gonna apply it just to the inner half of my eye. In preparation for some serious color on the other half of my lids, I'm gonna take this white eyeliner from NYX in the color Milk and apply it to the other half of my lid. Be sure to blend it. Rapunzel is all about the purple, so I'm gonna use a few different purple shades for my Coastal Scents palette. First, I'm gonna use this medium purple for the other half of my eyelids. Try to blend the purple and the gold together a little bit before we continue. Using a darker shade of purple, I'm going to apply it to the inner crease of my eyelids along to my outer corners and down to my lash line. Kind of make a little square around your eyelid. And now blend this too. Blend it. Finally, using a super light shade of purple, I'm gonna apply this to my brow bone and then blend it in. Now for the fun part, winged eyeliner. Using the super fat marker from NYX, I'm gonna draw a line across my lashes on both sides, just a straight line to begin, and we will build from there. The width of your line depends on how big you want your wings to be. For this look, I'm not going for too big of a winged eyeliner, so I'm gonna make it medium thick. You see what I mean. Using the Revlon Colorstay Liquid Eye Pen, which is kind of a finer point, I'm gonna go in and start drying my winged eyeliner. I try not to pull my skin back too far because then it'll warp what your wing actually looks like. Making a general outline, a line that leads directly to where your eyeliner already is in a straight line. Then once you have that straight top line, you can form the wing itself. After I get the general shape down, that's when I go back and make everything kind of even on the top line, and then I go to the ends of the wings and make them very nice and sharp. These wings are big enough to fly me away from my tower! Using the Strawberry Milk NYX eyeliner, I'm going to highlight my eyes by applying it to the inner corners of my eyes and also right under my eyebrows, and then blend it in. Now for just a teensy bit of contouring. I'm applying the Harmony Blush from MAC to my cheekbones, but not too much for this look because Rapunzel is kind of not a contouring looking girl. What she is, is a blush girl. Girl's got some rosy glow going on. So I'm using Hervana from Benefit, and I'm gonna use a lot of it. Rapunzel also has a semi-neutral lip color, so I'm gonna outline my lips in Mauve from Revlon. And then I'm gonna fill it in with Stockholm Matte Lip Cream by NYX, which is kind of a neutral pinky color. To add a little Rapunzel flair to this look, I'm going to attempt to draw a sun on my face. So what I'm doing is dipping a brush into some water before I apply it to the yellow eyeshadow I'm gonna be using as paint. And here's where you'll see that I'm actually not that good of an artist. I'm not good at drawing, I can't even draw a fancy sun, like the symbol of the Kingdom Corona, but I did my best, and I think that the point came across, and that's all that really matters, right? And that, I guess, is pretty much the finished look, you guys, but... Oh, wait, something's not right. I'm still brunette. That's better. I got this wig from Gothic Lolita, which is an awesome website for wigs of any nature. You can even braid it if you want. I'm gonna give it a try. Braid it on up. 